today we're literally filming in a golfer's paradise. Torex literally has every golf club on the market you can imagine. The only disappointing thing is I'm not actually getting fit today though. So one of our lucky readers is here for a KBS shaft fitting and we're gonna see if having custom shafts in your clubs actually has a benefit for club golfers. So this is Sean, he's our competition winner. He's an eight handicap and from the stats he's sent us, he swings it pretty quick. So we're looking at something near 115 miles an hour with driver. So really the thing here isn't about increasing speed. It's more about looking at reining that distance in and seeing if we can tighten in his dispersion a bit. So it's definitely going to be pretty interesting. So Sean's actually using hazardous smoke shafts in all his clubs currently. Today what we're going to be fitting for is driver, fairway wood and hybrid. So what we're going to do is test his current clubs, see how they're performing and then go into some of the stock options here and see how the shafts change with that, those KBS shafts in. Need to get Sean in to do some club testing. He's hitting it so good. The crowds have come in to watch. Are we going to make some improvements? Well, let's have a go. You know, ball speed for me is the most important thing on that page. This number next to it is your efficiency and it's ball speed divided by club speed. We want to get that as close to 1.50 as possible. And then of course, we, we're led to believe the golden number in spin is somewhere between two, two, 2,000, 2,500. I mean, we're not a million miles away. Okay, so generating the type of speed that you do, there's two shafts of interest for us, uh, both extra stiff and two different weights, okay. Mm -hmm. Sounded quite solid. So compared to his current shaft, what would you expect this to do differently? Okay, so from a spec point of view, the two very similar shafts, quite stiff at the tip, relatively heavy, uh, sorry, relatively stiff, same weight, both should give similar dynamics, which would be relatively low launch, low spin. So I think, Hannah, this is a feel, mm -hmm. mainly how does it feel compared to yours? And, you know, does it tighten Sean's dispersion at all? I think when he's picking, he's, he's hit his driver really well. But can we just bring that dispersion slightly tighter together? And I think he'll admit that himself, that that's the one part of his game yeah. where he says he'd like to make some improvements. Obviously he did go after one then, didn't he? <laughs> Good shot. It's interesting though, because that one has gone slightly right, but the other ones that hit slightly right had kind of a distance drop off. Because yeah. you, you saw them go to like 270, yeah. whereas with that it stayed up at like 291. So even though the dispersion is slightly off, the Correct. distance has been more consistent. And the firmer shaft, it should make it more difficult for him to turn it over. So I think when people come or they go and pick drivers up and they look at shafts, they don't really understand what the numbers mean. So when you're talking about heavy here, how would that number differ to a lighter one? As in weight wise, yeah. 10 grams. Ten, ten, we're going to put a 10 gram mm -hmm. heavier shaft in here now. Yes. So yeah. we're moving up to 70 plus okay. grams now, as, as opposed to 60, mm -hmm. yeah. So if you look at the spread, I guess like generally 40 is something you'd look at in like women's or seniors. Correct. 50, 60 is more your middle ground. Correct. And also know. if that left shot is what you want to take out, yeah. generally going heavier and stiffer is going to push the ball to the right. Correct. And probably unknown to Sean, but I've opened the face a little bit on the previous ones and I'm going to do that now as well. And, and the opening of the face again, you're just trying to counteract the fact that mm -hmm. his bad shot turns slightly left. Yeah. So we're just trying to eliminate or make it more difficult for him to do that. Okay. So whether this is the change or not, but he, he doesn't look as comfortable with this, yeah. I would say. That was good. That was a good shot. But, but the carry is a lot there, lower. He's, he's lost a little bit of yeah. ball speed there, hasn't he? Now, yeah. is that is that just a little bit of he's just thrown a few bag swings in? I don't know. So, so my thought process there would be, let's let him hit some more. If it is a few bad swings, let's just let it pass through. And if not, 
That's not giving him anywhere near as good stats as the previous one. It's quite interesting that just changing the heaviness of that shaft has kind of affected his carry distance by like yeah, that was good. 30 that yards. Good. I know. <laughs> Which you, yeah, well, you'd never think that, would you? you think, oh, well, you know what people are like, they're going to a shop, oh, well, that's my specs, that's 10 grams heavier, they've got it in stock, it'll be all right. <laughs> and that's making like 30 to 40 yards of carry difference. Ball speed straight up, isn't it? First shot. Can I buy that off you? Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> my club championships on, on Saturday. Two in ten yeah. <laughs> the trade off, unfortunately, for swing, the guys that swing a bit faster, you've got less margin for error. You know, if you're a degree out, but swinging faster than the guy, you know, you're going to put more turn on the ball. So that this, this shaft, I'm assuming, feels better than the previous one. Right. Okay. It feels it, you can, you can feel it better. Yeah. It's certainly giving you better results. One of the great features of all these modern launch monitors, we can make comparisons. We've hit 12 shots with yours, 12 shots with the, the first 60 gram shaft. Didn't hit quite as many shots with the second shaft because it was pretty obvious it weren't giving you as good a stats. So the real comparison is these top two here. These are the numbers that we kind of like when it comes to a driver fitting. Um, similar club speed. We'd expect that, I would have thought, you know, similar head, similar, similar shaft length, similar weight of shaft. Um, slight drop in speed there, Anna, when we go to the mm -hmm. heavier one. Um, ball speed for me is always priority. You get 161. We're getting 163 out of the, the KBS. Therefore, a little bit better uh, efficiency, a little bit further distance, a little bit less spin. What I find interesting is like the distance dispersion is a lot more yeah. consistent. Is it, is so it, say when you say you're going, you're going for a lot of greens, even if you're slightly left or right, you're going to be carrying like the hazards at the front, yeah. aren't you, consistently, even if you miss strike one. So I would say if there's, there is a benefit from moving you into a KBS, there, as long as it feels good, if it feels good. If it feels good on it, you yeah. can certainly. Yeah. I think Sean swings it quite a lot faster than most club golfers, but it was interesting to see the different groupings and just how things change. I don't think you can overstate just how important it is to try different weights and flexes out because as we saw then, like the same stiffness of shaft, but a 10 gram difference in weightage completely changed the performance. So it's really important if you're coming and testing things out to try different things. Now, what I found when I used the KBS TD shaft last year was that it had a really good feel and I think Sean echoed those sentiments. He felt like on his bad shot he could actually feel where he'd gone wrong whereas with some of the other shafts he'd had for his speed they were quite stiff and you couldn't really feel where they were in space so a lot of this comes down to feel and being able to control your bad shot as well as getting the most out of what you can get from your swing. <laughs> got all the different I was going to say how many tea pegs have you got in there? It's like a little treasure trove in here. These are be my tees. Little pink tee, I like that height. Ooh, the new Titleist RCTs. So these are the ones that have the technology in them to match with TrackMan so you can get really accurate spin rates inside. Now, what's nice about Torex is that they have literally every golf ball. So you can come in and test with what you'd use on the golf course. Footballs, anyone? 